Hey everybody and welcome to yet another episode of The Creative Smoothie. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And before I launch into the actual episode, I just wanted to take a second to genuinely thank every single person that has dedicated their time to listening to these episodes. Uh, I know I have a few friends on social media, but also a few people I got to know on social media who started listening to this. And I wanted to say hello to them and thank them for listening and for supporting this podcast. I really hope that you guys are not only listening, but also getting something valuable out of this. So I wanted to thank you and welcome the people that are just starting to listen to this podcast right now. If this is your first episode, welcome to this podcast, the podcast that we're trying to create to elevate coaches, business leaders, entrepreneurs, uh, freelancers, creatives, people that are on their journey in the entrepreneurial world or simply looking for better life values, better marketing strategy better business skills. Um, This is kind of like the documentation of my own journey in the entrepreneurial world. I'm nowhere near an expert. I am just learning. I'm in it with you, but I love taking action and I love learning from my mistakes. And then I love sharing those mistakes and lessons with you. And I wanted to thank you for being here and to let you know that so far we've been doing two episodes every week, but because I realized that with all the projects and all the communities and everybody that I'm trying to help, Um, I'm spreading myself so thin that the quality of my content sometimes decreases. Because of that, I want to reduce it to one episode every week that's going to come out every Friday. And instead of it being just a short episode, they're still going to be short. They're not going to be long form anymore. But I'm going to be able to pack a lot more knowledge, experience and lessons within each episode. So the quality is going to go up. The quantity is going to go slightly down. But you're going to keep receiving the same... um, information the same knowledge the same experience and hopefully you're going to get even more value out of all of those episodes so thank you for being with me so far and without further ado i wanted to jump in into today's episode and talking about lessons and and stories i don't think there's a better way to tell or to teach somebody something other than with storytelling ever since i was a kid i loved aesop's fables aesop's fables are or fables are just stories in general that have some sort of lesson at the end or or a moral and I learned them ever since I was a kid. I didn't know why I could learn through metaphors a lot better than if people just tried to explain to me certain things. And I love the way he used animals to compare certain life events and life actions that we take certain habits. And because of that, I wanted to start today's episode, one of Aesop's fable, to segue into um, the content I wanted to to talk about today, whether it's about your product, whether it's about your marketing, whether it's about your uh, purpose in life. Uh, this fable ties in a lot to that. So let me just read it and then we'll jump in straight into the episode. The crow in the pitcher. A crow perishing with thirst saw a pitcher and hoping to find water flew to it with delight. When he reached it, he discovered to his grief that it contained so little water that he could not possibly get at it. He tried everything he could think of to reach the water, but all his efforts were in vain. At last, he collected as many stones as he could carry and dropped them one by one with his beak into the pitcher until he brought the water within his reach and thus saved his life. The moral of the story is, necessity is the mother of invention. Now, this was one of my favorite ones uh, when I was in high school because I was really into ideas and creative stuff and just coming up with products that people loved. And I didn't understand when people told me you need to build products that people truly need and will benefit from. I just thought that business was about creating something that I was really excited about and then finding other people who are also potentially excited about that and then selling it to them. And the reason why I'm bringing this fable today is because I feel like it's a good lesson. Necessity is the mother of invention for many people trying to start out in business. And especially coaches, especially freelancers, especially people that are starting small businesses on their own, you have to understand that the business that you're going to create, it's not going to be the business that you think is going to be useful. The business is going to be the one that's actually going to help people, at least successful businesses are. And many times I talk to people and they ask me, I don't know what kind of product I should sell. I don't, I, I feel like I have all these skills. I just don't know what kind of business I should launch. I don't know what kind of course I should make. I don't know what kind of coaching service I should offer to people. And most of the times they go with whatever they like the most, you know, like whatever they feel the most comfortable. 
And we find out that after a while, there is no actual necessity or not as much necessity or demand as we thought in that sector. And what happens? Some people abandon that sector or that niche and some other people start creating a need for it and, and start causing unnecessary problems for the people in that niche. Like, hey, you really need this. You have a problem and I have the solution. And people trying to teach other people what problems they have just to like sell them solutions is exactly the kind of marketing that I do not agree with and the kind of sales that I do not agree with. It's not conscious marketing. It's not conscious business. And it's as a result of simply not being able to identify what a, what a valuable business does. What a valuable business does, it fulfills a need. And a need is the mother of invention. And why do I say that? If you go out looking for particular needs and desires of people and identify them and identify why do they need this? Do they really need this? Or do they need something else that's actually deeper? If you go out and do all of those things and and identify necessity, the necessity is going to help you create that invention, create that solution, create that product, whatever it is, so much better than if you were just to come up with a solution first and then find the necessity for it. Do you understand what I mean? So the crow was the same. The crow flew to the water pitcher and saw that the water pitcher was there, right? The potential, the possibility, the skills, everything was there. But it could not get to the water because the water level was too low, right? So that's the same with you. Like you have the skills, you have the, the, the value to offer, but probably the niche that you're doing it in, th- that doesn't need enough of that, you know, it doesn't have enough necessity of, of whatever you have to offer. And so the crow, what, what does it do? It starts dropping in little stones and the stones essentially lift the water levels up. Now, that crow would have never done that if it was not thirsty. What would have happened if it was not thirsty? The crow would have dropped the pebbles. No, the crow would have seen the water, if seen it would, it would not get to it, and then it would have flown wherever else to get water, right? And that water pitcher, which symbolizes all our uh, skills, or our necessity, it wouldn't lift high enough to where that crow would actually drink from us, from that water, right? So if you become the pitcher and your water is not high enough, if you become a coach and you're presenting your skills in a niche that does not have enough demand, right? People are not going to be people. Yeah, people that are thirsty are going to find a way to get to you. But people that are not thirsty for that information, people that don't have a need for it are going to ignore your business. So what's a better strategy going, creating a product and waiting for the, the thirsty crow? No, the best way to go about it is to look for the thirsty crow and then bring the water to it. I don't know if you understand the, the, the metaphor, but I'm pretty sure you do. Like, just look for the necessity look for what the people need and then provide the product don't do it the other way around because then you're in eternal life looking for people that are lacking something and that is not like you're going to look for people that lack what you offer and that is very arrogant very go very egotistical and it only looks to serve one person and that is you so try to do what this fable says necessity is the mother of invention what is identify the necessities? Where are the crows? Where are the thirsty crows that you can give a water pitcher to? Look for those and then your business is going to have a lot more success. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. I think you guys get the point of this episode pretty quick. If you did, if you enjoyed this kind of episode, let me know. I'm trying to get a bit more storytelling into this um, episodes because I realize, hey, if I learn through storytelling and metaphors and examples, why shouldn't the people that I talk to also learn this way? So let me know if this was useful for you. And remember, look for true necessity. Look for actual challenges in the world. Don't build a product and then wait for the challenges to arise, okay? And if you like Aesop's um, fables, just Google Aesop's, A-E-S-O-P. That's his name, Aesop. And he has endless amount of fables with endless amount of uh, lessons and takeaways. Without further ado, guys, thank you so much. For yet another episode of Creative Smoothie, I'm so excited to come here and record this for you. I hope that you have an incredible week ahead or a weekend, depending on where you listen to this. Make sure you share this with your friends. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm going to let you in on something real quick at the end of the episode. The one person that may be still listening. I'm not going to be on Instagram for a lot longer. I'm not going to tell you much more for now, but follow me on Instagram so you can keep track of me for now. But I'm going to be leaving Instagram in some determined time. 
Anyways, have a good one, guys. Follow me. Oh, by the way, my Instagram is at Vlad Lionel Herescu on Instagram. Just search Vlad and you will figure me out. Have a good one, guys.